Okay, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up with a problem. Now, what you need to be thinking about is this, that um, if you are a first year, okay, um, I would suggest that really what you want to do is explore this using uh, a trial and improvement method. Okay, um, If you are a second year um, and have gone through uh, the calculus elements of differentiation, then you'll be able to see how you can come to the solution for this um, in the next video, okay, as an extension. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set you up with this problem where you've, I'm going to give you the number 20, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to find the maximum value of this. 20 over x to the x, the maximum value that it can possibly be. What value of x will get you that maximum value as well? Okay? So what is the maximum value and what value of x will get you to that? Now, currently, okay, the tools that we have available to us is that we could just try some values of x. It might be an idea to sketch this graph, okay, if you're confident enough to think about what this might look like, you might want to do that after trying a few values out, or plug it into Desmos, y equals this, okay, or into Autograph or GeoGebra, just to see kind of what the graph actually looks like to confirm your answer. So I'm going to start you off in the way that you might go about this. So you might think, okay, well, how about if x is uh, equal to 2. Then we're going to have 20 over 2 squared. So that would be 10 squared, which is 100. So what about when x is equal to 3? So we would have 20 over 3 cubed. So 20 over 3 and then cubed is 8,000 over 27, which is approximately 296, okay, as to the nearest unit. So we can see that this, when x is 3, we get a larger value. So how about when x is, let's say, 5? So 20 over 5 to the 5. So that would be 4 to the power of 5, which is 1024. So clearly, we're getting larger. Right? So we might think, okay, well, what about when x is 8? So 20 over 8 to the 8. Now you might be thinking, well, actually, now that I can see what's going on, that number inside the bracket is actually getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay? And this gets us to 1525.87. 8906, okay? So approximately 1526. Now, how about when x is, I don't know, 15? Okay, so 20 over 15 to the power of 15. Now, that is 74.83 to two decimal places. So something has happened because we've now got a number that is less than when x was 2. So there must be actually some value, because we're going up and then down again. There must be some value where the x value is perfect enough to give us a maximum value that this can possibly be. Okay? Your job is to try and find that to as accurate a number as you can. Um, now you might want to use Excel to explore this, uh, but also, as I suggested, some graphing packages just to kind of see what you can come up with.